Okay, can everybody hear me? <clears throat> Just gotta sit here and wait. There's something to do yet. I think I'm going to pass on Macy's, but Macy's is going before Weight Watchers, and it's already going. All right. <clears throat> I, this doesn't look like it's moving. That bothers me. anything yet <clears throat> it's just not moving so volumes are relevant and I'm not so sure this gap up in the market holds like I said so <clears throat> I think we gotta wait <clears throat> sitting here waiting This is extremely tr tricky. <clears throat> we're not going to hold the market today. And I know we're up <clears throat> considerably from yesterday's close. I get it, but this isn't going to hold. This is just... What did I say yesterday? We're back to the slop. Well, that was right on. <clears throat> so let's just go back and see if this Weight Watchers can do anything. It breaks 28, we're not gonna go long it. Maybe we should watch Macy's, but this is gonna be just such a small target. <clears throat> I mean, literally. It's just trying to decide if this is really worth doing. Market's not going to hold today, so it's very tricky here. <clears throat> Let's just talk about the market. Uh, I thought we'd fall yesterday. We didn't. When we rallied, it didn't bother me. When I got up and saw that we were up, did it make me change my mind about anything? The answer is no. <clears throat> so it's, this is, we're back to the slop. We're back to the chop. We're probably going to be in a range the rest of the summer. <clears throat> And I don't know if we're going to be arranged the rest of the year, that's six months from now, but I don't think that's going to happen, but it could. But I think we're going to be in a range most of the summer, meaning we're not going to make a new high in the spy, which I said yesterday, and we'll be in a range unless we go back down to March lows. That would be preferable because we could go short and get a nice clean sweep and be done with it. <clears throat> but you see here, this is very messy. And I couldn't find any good shorts today and this doesn't hold we're not going to do this and it just broke gosh all right let's go back to our weight watchers 
is held. So let's sit here and watch our Weight Watchers. It looks like it's barely moving. Let's do this. Stop's gonna be 28.10. Let's do 80 by 10. <clears throat> I don't think we're gonna get a better stop than that. 80 by 10 long Weight Watchers. I have no idea if this is going to trigger because if it doesn't, it'll continue falling, break 28, and we won't do it. We haven't done anything, and it's 936. Nope. Wow. Give me ideas. I, it's, we, it's only seven minutes into the open, but wow. look in here this is still valid if this hits 80 80 by 10 but I don't know if it's gonna it's trying to hold so badly though against this market 80 by 10 Weight Watchers targets 30 <clears throat> it's KR gapping I'm just kind of scanning this list on the side this morning there was next to nothing looks like there's next to nothing even now Peloton I looked at earlier. Nordstrom is up. All the retailers are up. But some of these things just didn't look good. Like, normally I would love Target. Normally I would love Walmart. I didn't like the setup here this morning in the Gap. Those would have been great to do, but they just the gap wasn't good enough. Same thing here, not good enough. Here's this little baby. Gosh darn it. No, I, I'm just gonna pass. I just I'm just not gonna do this for 25 cents because it's probably it. It's like targets 820, 25, 830. We're still watching this. I haven't given up on it. Again, if it breaks a low, I'm off it. And I'm not going on this market here today. So, gotta take profits when you're up. Big mistake yesterday and today, there's just nothing to do. Well, I'm doing the right thing today. <laughs> that much I know, so. I can't pull these gaps out of thin air. Gyro, do you like anything? Oh, let me look at the zoom. Oh, see, this is this is selling off, but it's not good enough. I mean, we could almost theoretically short the market, but I'm not going to do that because we gapped up. So, you know, too much strength here in the gap, but not on the live day. Confusing. All right, let's go back to our WW. 28.10 is still valid. Let's do 70 by 10. <clears throat> Not giving up on this yet. 70 by 10. AAL did a gap. Of course, everything was up with the market, but let me look. Nope. You know what I didn't look at this morning? <coughs> I didn't look at BA. And is this another very, very sloppy chart? Because I don't think this is higher 
it had a tremendous sell-off, which we got last week. Um, didn't call any trades in this at all yesterday. It just didn't set up right. This is extremely messy now. This is this is like the worst chart ever now of slop, worse than the market. But let's look at this. This is gonna fall. I would be surprised if this has a, just a tremendous fall, quite frankly. Okay, I'm still watching WW. Boeing's gonna sell off. It's gonna sell off. Maybe, maybe we'll do something out tomorrow, actually. Maybe that'll sell off hard today, gap down tomorrow. So today is Tuesday, tomorrow is Wednesday. Thursday, we have more data out on unemployment numbers. So how am I seeing this week set up? Very sloppy, but ultimately lower. Could be later in the week though. All right, here we go. I think we can do this. 70 by 10, it's holding. It's not selling off. It's attempting to do so and failing. Market is, I like this anyways, but realistically, first target would be 29. Doesn't get over that, we'd almost scalp it. 70 by 10, long weight watchers. Stock has done good since Oprah has been doing all our commercials. Has anyone had that cauliflower pizza? Is it any good? I think it has, it's not low carb though. I think it has flour in it. 26.29. <sighs> no, I never had it either because it's really not low carb. It's like part cauliflower, part whole wheat flour, I think. Sit here and wait for this a little bit more. <coughs> okay, here we go. 70. something in this today, but it's taking a long time. I don't think this needs the market's help today. The market would help this if it does hold. I don't think it needs it, but if the market would hold and rally into 10, it would help this. It's never triggered yet, and I'm hoping that this does because it's the only thing that looks even decent. <sighs> looks pretty good. But it's just here we go. Seventy. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> it really doesn't look like this is moving. I know that it is moving, but it really doesn't look like it is. <clears throat> I ended it. 
This is not too late. 70 by 10. This is this is it. Gosh, I hope this makes it worthwhile here waiting for an hour. Let's talk about the targets. Here, I'll write them in the room. I think this can get to 30. It's got to get over the high though. <clears throat> Wait, watch those targets. not too late and you can still do it do it right here in fact what we could do is we could add over 29 Peloton fell. Okay. <clears throat> Again, it doesn't look like it's moving. So when will it start to move? I don't know. Over the high, over 29, 29.10. I think this was worth waiting for. I think we're gonna get a decent play in this when there was nothing else to do. Um, so we're kind of getting the stop, drop, and roll look here. But is the market gonna have any follow through? I'm just not a believer. Not after the last week. This still doesn't look like it's moving. And yet it is. Let's not miss our exit today. We won one big punch over the high. Let's see how it acts and that's it. Any questions? This is it, we're not doing anything else. Let me look at what's out for tonight. This today, the 16th. Oracles tonight and H&R Block. Oh, CCL's tomorrow morning. Well, that should be interesting, shouldn't it? Okay, we're in a long here. Longs take a long time. We waited a long time for the setup. Do we have to wait a long time for it to go? Possibly. Stop is 28.10. It's not going to get any momentum until it gets over 29. High of the day is 29.10. Looks fine. Just slow. tricky so we're in ww long i'm not going to give it any more room it's too late for that and the market is not going to hold but it is really tricky and you have to pick a side you can't you can't be both ways it's just one or the other 
I think one of the reasons the last few weeks was very easy was the side was clear. Now the side is not so clear. Why? We gapped down yesterday, then we didn't have any follow through lower, then we are gapping up today, and we're not having any follow through higher. So that's what volatility is. That's what sloppiness is when you're not getting the follow through. And the last few weeks were very easy because we had beautiful follow through in everything we did. It was so easy to trade and that was erased when I got up yesterday morning. I knew that it was gonna be tricky and the way the day played out and this morning too, it just reinforces that. I hope this trade doesn't take all day. I don't have all day today. I'm glad we didn't do this. Speaking of no follow through. This is this could really sell off. This this is so tempting to short here today, but it's just the wrong thing to do because it's a really piss poor entry. But like, I wouldn't be surprised if this completely uh, this could fall twenty dollars. I'm just I'm not going to do it though because it's just the wrong thing to do. But I will be watching this tomorrow morning. Like I, this could this could be here by Friday. It's you know. All right, we're in this and we're waiting. Does anyone want to go over anything? Anything from yesterday? Anything at all? I did a webinar last night and it brought somebody brought up the topic again about sizing, which I kind of talked about the one time a couple weeks ago. It, sizing is so, so important when you trade. Like if you don't size yourself right, you are not going to make money, even if you have a good strategy. So, you know, and again, yesterday was a key example. Like if you did the spy trade, we were up. If you didn't get out, if you took the loss, if you had risked more than you normally would, it would take you two trades or possibly more, depending on how much you oversize yourself to come back and be positive for the week. Like if this works, you wouldn't, it, you wouldn't be positive for the week. I do think we can add here at 29 though, because the longer this, this holds, the better it looks to go over the high. But anyway, sizing is so critical. We are going to fall asleep, but this looks good. So the big days this week is Thursday, because of the number, and this is going to make a new high this week, so this Tesla is going to have another pop. So one thing I feel confident is going to flip over the high again. Apple is trying, probably the only reason that the Qs are holding on. Gosh, I can't even believe, should we go long this? This is just so insane now. Why this is holding up though, Apple? Um, here, this looks amazing, everybody. Let me just look at look at some apples. Why do I think Tesla will pop? It's one of the strongest things in the market. I also think it doesn't have anything to do with the market.
Here goes the Weight Watchers. Let's just wait it out here. Here, let's add to the Weight Watchers right now. You could do it at 90, you can wait till 29. It's gonna go, here it is, it just hit over 29. Nice call, here, this is it, this is our day, this is our life. Da 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 do 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 do, nice call. Wow, I, I, I was extremely careful yesterday, I just didn't get out right. But back on track here today. Let's see if we can get it up to 29.50, 29.60, close to 30 as we can. It's gonna go. Now it's finally moving. I think this gets to 30. Uh, Tesla is loved by all, I don't know. This is just yesterday's bar. Uh, looks completely different than everything I saw last night. Just a million reasons here. W W. Okay, got to twenty nine thirty. We got to get it up twenty nine fifty. So you see people bought in here, quick got out. Those are the little scalper people that got out for 50, 60 cents. But this looks good now. Try to hold it a little bit. We're getting into 10. And again, I, I again, the market could help us. Let's go back over here, look at the cues. But I don't think it's gonna hurt us. I think we take a break on the longs. I like this. I really think that by the end of this week, you're gonna see something very different than what you see today. Here we go. Let's not talk so I don't miss my exit today. Gosh, I, what do, I mean, it's just, you have to pay attention like just one split second yesterday you're up and then you're down it's all that it takes I think we should watch 2950 though But again, I, I, this could probably go to 30 today. Here we go. 10 o'clock. An apple might go. I mean, it, it, you know, it, it, it just might. It's just, I don't know, when I think too hard about something, the answer is no. Didn't think hard about this. This was good, and I knew it a second I saw it. 
And again, if you got to get going here early, you could scalp out of half this. You could get out of the whole thing, especially if you did the add. We're trying to get one more push up, one more rally. I think the best thing to do right now in overnights is have a light touch. And the same thing with day trades. Just a very light touch here. No piggy targets. No over trading. You have to think too hard. The answer is no. So what I'm thinking this could do is follow through today or gap up and make a new high tomorrow morning. That's why I'm seeing this kind of set up, not taking that long. Could be today, could be tomorrow in the gap. Could get up tomorrow morning. This could be at 10.30, 10.35. Could be at 10.50. So that's, I, I'm like, that's how I'm seeing this whole little monster. Just chose not to do this but I do want to get out of this before lunch I've had a very good summer so far but know that the market is back to being very sloppy why anyone would thought differently it was too too, too shocking, too surprising to think the market would go back up to the highs and all the indices. It didn't make any sense and it's not going to do it. But there, it could have, theoretically. It just didn't. One day this will move. All right, who's doing what? Let's go look around and see what else is going on today. Oh, here we go. Fed Chairman Powell say that there will be significant uncertainty on timing and strain of recovery. Says direct support from Congress can make a difference. What else does he want them to do? Another round of stimulus. Free money! They're never going to get people to go back to work. At this point, 